mountain climber Mali Mastan Babu has reportedly gone missing from the Andes mountains in South America, triggering fears about his safety. 40-year-old Babu, who hails from Nellore in Andhra Pradesh, was in South America for a trek. Babu and his friends had started their ascent from the Argentinian side towards the summit that lies on the Chilean side of the Andes. As per reports, Babu and his group were at the base camp on the 24th of March when Babu apparently set off alone to check out the route going up. The weather soon deteriorated and he's been missing ever since. Babu is the fastest seven summiteer in the world, having climbed summits in all seven continents in just 172 days. He's one of India's most famous mountain climbers. His family in Delhi has appealed to the governments of Argentina and Chile to launch an aerial search operation even as his friends from around the world have started a fundraising campaign to raise money for this rescue mission. I want to take you across at this time to Krupkar Chaudhary. Uh, he's in Santiago in Chile. He's coordinating the rescue operation from there. He's joining us on this broadcast. There's also Piyush Banerjee who's coordinating this rescue operation in India. Uh, Piyush Banerjee, I come to you first. What's the latest about Ma Mali Mastan? Have we been able to identify where he is? Uh, no, so we've, we've not been able to uh, uh, pinpoint the location. We, we are hoping to uh, be supported by, uh, by some of the digital uh, technologies, uh, his iPhone uh, or his uh, GPS system that he had that may help us uh, you know, pinpoint the exact location. Uh, the area has, has had uh, bad weather and there has been snow, um, almost one meter deep uh, snow around the area, uh, so which is making it very difficult for the uh, rescue teams on ground to, to identify and scout for him. Okay, Krupka Chaudhary, what's the latest from San Diego in Chile? Um, what is it that you've been able to gather on the ground? I'm, I know that friends and family are collecting money to be able to launch a private rescue operation because arranging those sorties, climbers on the ground is quite difficult. How much money have you been able to raise and how are the rescue operations going, sir? Mr. Chaudhary, do you hear me? Piyush, can you tell us about the weather? Uh, I'm told that the weather condition is quite bad and that's playing a major role in impacting the rescue operation? Yeah, the, the weather is not in our control. Uh, yesterday uh, was uh, thankfully a very uh, uh, bright and sunny uh, weather in uh, around there. And so we could uh, do uh, have the, uh, the rescue teams, the foot uh, on foot rescue teams reach uh, the uh, the pass san francisco pass which takes you into the uh, the mountain range uh, to the base camp uh, on the uh, other hand today the weather has been bad especially around mendoza from where the uh, airborne um, uh, search and rescue operation was supposed to start uh, from the argentinian side uh, however uh, that has not been taken off uh, and uh, we still uh, are waiting for some uh, uh, aerial support uh, coming through the Chilean uh, government side. Okay, give me a moment. Uh, Krupakar, I'm told, is now back with us from San Diego in Chile. What's the latest from the ground, Krupakar? What's the uh, information you can give to our viewers? Have you been able to trace at least uh, where the mountaineer was just before uh, you lost track of him? How did it happen? I, I was not actually the part of uh, the group where Mali went. But I am coordinating with the person who was earlier with the Mali, the day which uh, he left Mali in the base camp. So that is the same person right now on foot. He is arriving at the mountain and to you know launch the search operation on foot. Uh, that is going on, but there are a lot of difficulties in accessing that route due to a lot of snowfall. Uh, we are talking about uh, 
more than one meter of snowfall over there. So it's quite complicated for them. And two groups are like literally struggling to pass through advance in the search operations. And the, we are, uh, they are requesting also for an aerial survey. Okay, aerial search. Right now we are contacting the, you know, in, uh, Indian Embassy is also helping us uh, in providing the aerial survey, aerial search. I mean, uh, uh, they are requesting the team called GOPE uh, in Chile, who are experts in the rescue operations. And uh, we have been, Indian government has been, you know, continuously contacting the uh, rescue teams here in Chile so that they can help us. But bad, the bad thing here is like recently there are uh, severe floods in the same region where Mali went for the trekking. And uh, there are more persons disappeared in that area due to these floods. Okay, if so there are people who are watching this broadcast, Mr. Chaudhary, and wondering if there's any way in which they can help. Is there something in specific that you're looking for? I was told that money was a problem because uh, mounting a private rescue operation is apparently quite costly and you don't have the money. How much have you been able to help? How much have you been able to organize? And if people are watching, how can they help? Right, uh, right now we are organizing a private helicopter. Uh, we are talking about like, you know, we are bringing helicopters from Argentina to Chile since we don't have helicopters over in Chile. And then uh, it's going to be travel from Argentina to the Chile side. The travel time itself, it will take 10 hours for that fly helicopter to come. And rescue operations, uh, that is dependent on when we can find it. So we are minimum expecting like 25 hours of uh, helicopter search. And each hour they are, uh, you know, uh, asking like to pay like $2,200 plus 20% of tax uh, per hour, this is. So it's like almost fifty thousand dollars for twenty-four hours. We are talking about here, and uh, we, as friends of Mali, has collected uh, around forty thousand dollars, and we are still collecting the funds to help this rescue, uh, to you know, to pay for this helicopter, for, uh, uh, you know, the rent. Okay, our thoughts and prayers are with Mali, his family and friends, and we hope that uh, you are able to find where he is, and I hope that he's safe. And sound that's most important uh, various people stepping forward to help as well uh, the rescue operations need funds that's a critical area where things are lacking because it needs a private rescue operation and that as you just heard from the person coordinating the rescue requires a lot of money